Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Glumack and I share all the things about having an ileostomy bag and what life is like. So as you may have seen in my previous videos, I am pregnant and I'm so excited. I've had quite a gap between my last video and this one, but just kind of going through the motions of pregnancy and overall it's been a lot better of an experience than I thought it would be for me. So I'm really excited to share more about that. I'll do another video. If you have any specific questions about what it's like being pregnant with an ileostomy bag, comment below and let me know what your questions are because I would be so happy to answer them for you. Mostly, like I said before, it's been pretty smooth sailing besides the fact that I still have my rectal stump and I basically had a flare my entire pregnancy. <laughs> but it's mostly been, I've been able to control it with mesalamine suppositories for the most part. I mean, I do flare every day, so it's kind of just keeping the bleeding at bay of the little ulcerative colitis that I do still have in that. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, I am actually going to be making my ileostomy bag permanent, but I wanted to wait until after I was done having kids before we actually do the whole Barbie butt procedure and remove the rectal stump. So a lot of people will go on to have a J pouch. It's just not something that I want to do for myself. I am very happy with my life having an ileostomy bag, so I'm gonna keep it. But anyway, uh, let's talk about and show you what it's like to change your ostomy bag with a pregnant belly. <laughs> so I'm 37 weeks today, and I feel like my belly has kind of dropped a little bit too, which is exciting. Um, as you can see, my bag has had to change because with the, you know, kind of angle that my belly protrudes out now, I've kind of switched it up to like what kind of bags I've been using. So let me just show you really quick. Um, I started off using the convex bags and I think I've shown you that in previous ostomy bag change videos. I love this one, but as my belly started to get rounder, it's like it wasn't sticking how I needed it to. And I found that I had more leaks because you really need it to kind of adhere to the contours of your skin, you know? So then I briefly switched back to the flat flange, which worked fine for a little bit. And then I was so excited when Coloplast and Zermia came out with this one, the star shaped one, because this works so well on a curved surface. It actually like conforms to my body and it's been able to grow with me basically since I mean, like as soon as I started second trimester, I switched to this one and I love it. So when I first got it, I was like, oh no, it's the wrong way. <laughs> but all you do is you just kind of fold it like that and then it contours to your body. So I prefer the one piece just because I like to make my steps as minimal as possible. And one thing from pregnancy, my skin actually changed too. So previous videos, I've had to show you how I need to do like a barrier sheet first because my skin was so allergic to the adhesive of any sort of bag that I tried, but my skin kind of changed throughout pregnancy. So I ended up actually becoming allergic to the barrier strip and I was like, oh great, now what? <laughs> so I tried going without the barrier sheet for a while. I think I keep calling it a strip, but I mean the, the sheets, you know, like the six by six inch ones, and then you just put it on underneath your flange. So anyway, now I just go straight flange to the body and it's worked so much better and it, I'm happy because it's one less step that I have to do in my ostomy bag change routine. So just kind of know that like as life goes on, as our skin changes, you might need to make some adjustments to your ostomy bag change routine. Um, another big thing that I've noticed with my, my stoma in particular is the size. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Growing a human's a lot of work. But um, when I first started off with you know, my stoma size, I was about an inch or I'd be like between an inch and an inch and an eighth. So now my stoma has grown to one and a half inches. And that really freaked me out at first. I was like, how big is it gonna get? Because when you start off having it be so like small and you know, nice, <laughs> then I was like, I knew that as my belly stretched, it only made sense that my stoma would grow with it too. So yes, we started off here, bumped up to here, and now I have jumped all the way to this size. <laughs> so everybody else that I've talked to that has a stoma and has gone through pregnancy with it and then they are postpartum now, says that eventually it does reduce its size back down. So I'm hopeful, but also now that I'm on 
at this point. It's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, uh, I don't know, just a huge change and just feel like not myself. You know what I mean? So I was really nervous about that, but it's okay. You'll see it in the video here as we do the bag change, but I really wanted to let you know that your stoma size will change with pregnancy, as I'm sure it does with any sort of weight gain. If you do have abdominal weight gain, it just makes sense that as that area expands, that's going to as well. So let's go ahead and get into a bag change. Here we go. I always like to have all my supplies laid out and ready to grab. Um, so before we get started, we always take a little trash bag, you know, and I learned this from watching someone else's video. I can't remember who it was, but they actually put the bag underneath just like this. <laughs> and then that way, if your stoma happens to spring a leak while you're changing it, um, it just does it right in there. <laughs> so that's really good too. Uh, I think it was Maggie. I think that's who I learned that from. But anyway, all right. So we have that all ready to go. Um, I've got these nice little wipes. They're super good. I just get them off of Amazon and they're disposable. So that's usually what I use to clean my skin. Uh, I use the Brava adhesive remover wipes to get any sort of extra residue off. And then um, of course we have the Coloplast, the flip bag. And then I have been actually using this. I wasn't using these for a while, but I really like using these around my stoma because they just seem to help with any leaks, especially as my the size of my stoma has been changing a lot. Um, I'm just gonna put this up over that way. Um, usually I'll have to put a little bit of the stoma powder and the barrier film around my stoma as well if there's any broken skin. And then of course the medical adhesive remover to remove the bag. Now I do have the barrier strips because I've really been into taking baths lately. So as we know, um, you can totally take a bath or swim or hot tub with ostomy bags, which is awesome. But the adhesive on the side starts to get kind of gummy and I always wanna like make my bag last a lot longer. So I'll use those barrier strips. You can kind of see the outline here. And that just helps so that the edge of the flange doesn't wear off sooner than I want it to. So I've had this bag on for probably four days now. I've taken three baths with it <laughs> and um, I can tell underneath it, just right around my stoma, I'm wondering if the size of it changed a little bit because my skin is starting to itch a lot. So that usually tells me that it's starting to get some of the, the stomach acid and the stool on my actual skin. So warning now, you're, you're going to see my stoma. So I'm just going to kind of pull up on the little strip here. And I love this adhesive remover spray because I feel like it just gently lifts it away from my skin and it doesn't um, hurt as much as like using the strips in my opinion. Now this is where you're gonna see a lot, but I wanna keep it real with you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and send that down into the bag. I almost lost the whole thing. I take this and I wipe any excess stool. Now my key, my tip here is that you want to <laughs> to not have an active stoma because it's a surprise. We never really know when it's going to release some stool. Um, if you kind of wait to eat or drink anything for a little while before you do your bag change, then you're less likely to have a mess. So as you can see, this is what my stoma looks like now. It's quite a bit bigger than if you've noticed my other videos. Um, another thing that I've had to use now with pregnancy is a mirror because I can't see underneath it from my like mirror straight ahead as well. So I always have to use this to check underneath and I can tell that there has been some stool and it's going to actually poop on us a little bit. Not on us, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so that's why I like to have a lot of these around because you can just wipe it away as you're going and if I'm not paying attention, it'll just go straight into the bag. So. <laughs> This is real, real life, you guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of wipe around, especially on the bottom again. I don't know if you can tell. Um, something that's really normal too, if you haven't watched any other bag change videos, it is normal to get a little bit of blood because think of like the inside of your nose. It's the same sort of skin here where it's really sensitive and the blood vessels are really close to the, uh, the skin. So it's easy for it to bleed. Your actual stoma, does not hurt at all. It has like no feeling. So 
that's always super weird. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and use the adhesive remover wipe. That's gonna help to get that extra stickiness off. And I just like to go around the outside where most of that adhesive was and I work my way in because usually right around the stoma, you're gonna have some stool on there and I always wanna make sure that it's like as clean as possible before putting on a new one. So I just kind of go around and of course, try to get any extra residue off. And you wanna be gentle, like I kind of rubbed a little bit hard there, so you might have a little bit of bleeding, but the nice thing about using a powder, so let me show you that next. I'm gonna just double check on the underside here and make sure I got all of the adhesive off. I did not, so I'm gonna go in. I try to only use one or two of these with each bag change because I wanna be very mindful of my supplies because they are expensive. <laughs> all right, here we go. And I am not lucky to have any sort of insurance coverage on them right now. Um, really, I only had like one insurance that covered my ostomy supplies. Okay, so I'm, no, never mind. <laughs> here we go. We're going into the powder here. So as you can see, I've already kind of sprinkled some on and I just kind of try to get it all over, all around my stoma. And then, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's real life, you guys. <laughs> okay, so then this powder, I kind of lightly tap it off and the powder will stick to any liquid so any anywhere we have like a little bit of blood or open skin and then I just take this little barrier film spray and I spray it a couple times and then that just kind of it'll dry down you know and create a good barrier I find this really helps to heal my any broken skin um, while I put on a new bag so sometimes I'll go in and do a second here I'm just gonna I open up one of these drawers here and then I rest the bag in there so that way it doesn't just like fall off of my abdomen if it gets to be too much weight <laughs> okay let's put some of these away while the barrier film is drying and then oh let's go ahead and cut our bag sometimes I like to do this before I take the old bag off but today I just went right into it so I'm gonna go ahead Oh, you know what? Let's measure it today, actually, just to see in case it has grown. So um, before, I've been cutting it about the one and a half circle. That's this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that. But first, we're going to make sure there's no stool on the end. Just keep it nice and clean, hopefully. All right, so we're going to go in and see if that one and a half inches will be good. That actually looks pretty good still. And if I went up a size, that actually almost looks better. I'm kind of in between these two. So I'm gonna cut it to be right in the middle of those as well. And I think that'll get me the best sort of fit. So. Um, on here, we can see that we've got one and an eighth and then one and five eighths. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it right on that one and five eighths, maybe just slightly over it. And I think that'll give me the best fit. So just use these curved scissors. I actually ended up buying another pair because for my hospital bag, I wanted to include all of my ostomy supplies just in case I end up having to change my bag while I'm in the hospital there after I give birth. And I feel, I mean, I've gone so long with only having one pair of ostomy scissors, it's just ridiculous. So <laughs> I picked up some more on Amazon and just got it in my supply now, so that's good. All right, so there we are, we are cut and ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this Hollister ring. What I like about this is it's moldable, so I just take the little tabs off here and I kind of stretch it and I'm going to go ahead and place it on here so I can kind of measure it against the hole that we just cut and I'm going like right on the inside of it because I want it to be a little bit more snug around my stoma than 
what the hole will be. So we kind of end up with like a little, <laughs> a gummy ring. All right, we're going to blot this guy one more time. And actually, I'm gonna put that down. Looks like I could use a little bit more powder and spray. So let me do that really quick and then I'll be right back to show you. Just gonna double check on the bottom as well. Yep, we need a little bit more down there as well. And then I always want to cover it with that barrier spray too. So we're just going to kind of jiggle it off, give it a good coating. And then make sure that I got all of it covered. That looks good. Toss those. Put the guide away. All right. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna take this little moldable ring and then put it right around. I like to start at the top and kind of work it around the stoma here and get it nice and warm with the temperature of my fingers so that it adheres to the skin really nicely. And this I've just found has really helped to kind of decrease the amount of breakdown of the skin right around the stoma. All right, and then we're ready to put on the bag. So I keep the bottom of it rolled up or like undone so that any air can escape through the bottom first when we're applying it. And that way I get the closest application. So here we go. So then I just go ahead and slip it on and I just make sure that we're covering it all well. And then you just press it, kind of working the inside out and voila. So. I just like to use like the heat of my hand to really make sure that it's pressed down and around. I love this bag because it has a little inspection window so I can go in and make sure that, you know, all around my stoma, it is nice and snug, but not like too tight. <laughs> so you just wanna hold it on there for a few seconds, like 30 seconds, I'll usually walk around and I just use the heat of my hand to make sure that it's really secure. But I love, you know, these ostomy bags. I feel like they're very durable and I've never had an issue with it being like a risk of being ripped off my abdomen or anything. It's got a really good uh, adherence to my skin. So you can see here, what I love about the star shape is that it totally contours with my growing belly. So I love that. And then when you are ready, you know, to close it up, you just roll it up, Velcro, and you can either tuck it in on the bottom like this. I like to wear it like this for most of the time, unless it's intimate time or, um, you know, maybe I'm wearing a swimsuit or something, then I'll go ahead and fold it up in half and it makes it smaller, but just realize that you have a smaller space for it to fill up into, so it's going to be more noticeable sooner, you know, when it fills up. So most of the time I just kind of wear it on the lower one and tuck it into my underwear and then I'm good to go. But um, a lot of people ask me, you know, like how I empty it and when I empty it. I usually, once it gets about half full uh, or any time I go to the bathroom is when I usually just empty it because I'm already there. So you just unroll it. I take the little tabs, fold them onto the back of themselves and then you can see the, the outlet here. You just empty it into the toilet I kind of spread it open and then take toilet paper and wipe the edge so it's clean. Undo that little bit back, roll it up again, and keep it closed. So just like that. And that is how to change an ostomy bag, 37 weeks pregnant. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.